Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to fix all those lag problems in Nox Player. To start off with, first you need to open up Nox Player and you now need to head on over to the top right hand corner and click on the settings cog. The very first thing we need to do is make sure we have the latest version of Nox Player by simply clicking on check for update. And as you can see, I do have the latest version of Nox Player, which is great, that's fine, I can go ahead and press OK. The second thing we want to now do is clean up that disk space. Basically what we are about to do is clear any cache, basically any chunk files that Nox Player has stored. And this really can help improve the performance of Nox Player. You can now go ahead and press clean up and this will take a couple of minutes. And as you can see it's cleaned up 827 meg of rubbish. And we now need to go down to the bottom and hover over our Nox Player icon and click back onto the settings. You now need to go across to Advanced Settings and we now need to change our performance settings. At the moment it's only using one core of my CPU and it's only using one gig of my memory. Which really isn't a lot at all, especially when you can click on high and you can use four cores of your CPU and use free gig. But we can actually up that even more if you have a powerful enough computer. We can now click on custom and we can set it to the highest value which is 8 and then we can set the memory to 4096 which is 4 gig. And that is the highest you can do at the moment on Nox Player. But if your computer can handle that, then Nox Player will definitely run a lot better. But even if you set it to high or middle, it's still a lot better than what it was originally on, which was low. You now need to go to your startup settings and we need to change the size of our screen. At the moment, my resolution is set to 1920 by 1080 which is a lot of rendering the games need to do. If I was to change it to the lower setting here, which is 800 by 600, the game would run a lot smoother as it doesn't have to draw as much image on the screen. We can even change it from tablet to mobile phone and we could turn it down even more to 480 by 800. I know the screen's going to be slightly smaller, but the game will definitely run a lot better. Next we have our graphics rendering mode. This is a hard one really. I always find OpenGL actually runs a lot smoother than DirectX. But it really does depend on what graphics card you do have. If you do go with Speed DirectX, I would actually personally turn the frame settings down to 30 frames per second. Because if your computer isn't powerful enough, then it really isn't going to push 60 frames per second. So let's just cap it off at 30 frames per second, so it basically always runs at 30 frames per second. It's not constantly stuttering by going between 30 to 50 to... 45 frames per second it will constantly stay at 30 frames per second once you are happy with those settings we can now go ahead and press save settings you will need to restart nox player for these to take effect once nox player has restarted now try and boot up a game and see how well it plays don't worry if you are still getting a lot of lag there is another thing we can do you now need to head on over to the website for your graphics card and download the latest drivers. This will definitely help improve the performance. And the other thing we can do is also head on over to DirectX. I will put a link in the description below for this website. And you now need to press download. And we just want to make sure these two are unticked and go no thanks. And you now need to go save file and run the setup file. And we want to go, I accept, next, 
don't want to install Bing Bar and we want to go next again and we just want to make sure we have the latest version of DirectX as this will definitely help improve performance as well. As you can see, I do have the latest version of DirectX, which is fantastic. That's fine. If you are still having issues with Noxplayer, then the next step is basically to go down to the bottom left hand corner of our screen and right click. You now need to go to Task Manager. And once you're in Task Manager, you now need to close down any programs apart from Noxplayer. For example, right now you can see Firefox is using 600 meg of my memory, which that is really bad. We want that memory to be used on Noxplayer. And as you can see, OBS is currently using 4.5% of my CPU, but I want Noxplayer to use as much CPU and memory as it can. And I don't want my computer doing other things in the background. So make sure you close down all the programs that you aren't using and this will certainly help improve the performance as well. And that is it for this video. I hope this video has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.